Now this right here is a Naka 0018 airfoil. Let us set the angle of attack to 10 degrees. Do you know what turbulence model I need to use in order to get the right lift coefficient? Now let us zoom in and take a look at the mesh size near the wall. How big should this mesh be in order to capture the boundary layer accurately? This right here is a stalagmite function. How do I calculate its maximum value using a global optimization algorithm? This right here is the generic conventional model. How do I perform CFD analysis on it in order to calculate the drag coefficient accurately? This right here is how the specific heat of oxygen changes as a function of temperature. How do I fit a polynomial to this data so that if I input a temperature, I get the value for specific heat? These are the types of problems that you need to be solving at an undergraduate level. But are you? If you answered no to that question, just like a lot of students, you don't have the right guidance to work on industry relevant projects. This means you should check out our Essentials program for mechanical, automotive and aerospace engineers. In this program, you will be completing three self-paced courses. You are going to be starting with MATLAB and then once you have learned it, you are going to proceed to Python, after which you will be learning how to do computational fluid dynamics using SOLIDWORKS. In each of these courses, you will be working on assignments and projects that are industry relevant and have been specifically designed for mechanical, aerospace and automotive engineers. Let us say that you are stuck with a particular assignment and you need some help. Then you will be joining our live support sessions. So these are live web conferences that takes place Tuesdays, Wednesdays and Thursdays of every week. You can join any of these sessions. You can join any number of sessions to make sure that all of your questions are answered. For each course you finish, you will be getting one certificate. This means you will get one certificate for the MATLAB course, one for the Python course, and one for the CFD using SOLIDWORKS course. Well, here are some academic institutions where we provide training. Students from India and outside India take up our course and benefit from it.